Hello, and welcome to No Name City. Today we're going to take a look at the light kit for the Palace Cinema, done by Light My Bricks. First, we'll take a look at what's inside, then I'll install the light kit itself. We'll take a look at the Palace Cinema lit up in the city, and then I'll do a review of the kit itself. If there's anything that you don't want to watch, I'll put timestamps below, but let's get into it. Okay, let's take a look on the inside. So first off, it looks like we get a card that says, it's time to light up, and I couldn't agree more. It looks like the instructions may be online, so I'll have to look those up later. We get a user guide on how to connect each of the wires. This is a smart so that we don't accidentally break any of the connections. Next, we're getting to the lights, and it looks like we get a good stack of bit lights, some flashing bit lights, a USB power connector, some expansion boards, some connection cables. There's a wireless power connector. This is one thing I really like because then it makes it so that you can lift up each of the floors and still have it powered so you can still technically play with your Lego. And the last one, it looks like it is a street light. It's funny that it's in a different package, but that's okay. Awesome. Well, let's get this installed and see how it turns out. Okay, here we go. Let's put it in. Now, wasn't that amazing in the city? It sure brought to light how much I need to light up the other buildings, but in due time. Now, taking a look at this kit itself, I really like it. It's pretty simple to set up, but it does touch on everything that I think is important. You can see that the lights on the sign are all lit up and flashing. The outside lights are lit up. The posters have lights lighting them up. And then on the registers, there's even more lights. And not to mention even the lights on the inside. The instructions were easy to follow, and the install went fairly quickly. There are a couple small things that I would change, such as the lights on the outside weren't that great, so I replaced these pieces. There is one thing that I thought was very important and that is the wireless connectors. You saw when I put the Palace Cinema into the city, it automatically lit up. Well, that's one thing that I love, is that it allows me to play with my set, move my set, and I don't have to deal with all the wires and unplugging things. As another thing, what I did with the wireless connectors is you can see when I remove each floor, the lights automatically turn off. And then when I put the floors back on, they automatically turn back on. The lights on the outside aren't turning off because I'm not unplugging the wires there. But if we take a look at the bottom, we can see where my wireless connector is right here. It's kind of hard to see, but let's take a look at the city so that you can see the opposite side. So here we are without the buildings. And now taking a look, we can see here is the bottom of the wireless connector. This little piece goes into the bottom of each building and that's what powers each of the buildings. Eventually, there will be one of these for each building in the city. To power each of these connectors, I have to have the USB and all the wires run through. And I actually have that done under the roads and the sidewalks. So let's remove the roads. 
And you can see, here's all the wiring. As I get more buildings, I will have to separate the wires out more so that it's separated into more USB ports. But right now, I don't have that many LEDs, so I can run it all off of one. But you can see that the USB hub comes in from the wall. Then there's wires that disperse throughout the whole city to light up each and every light. So when I have the other buildings lit up, there'll be another port here that runs under the, here. There'll be some more that come over here. And so I really like this style of lighting because it allows me to clean, play, mess with all my bricks, but not be hindered and have to unplug everything manually. Let's remove this floor. And then one thing that I thought they did well was lighting up the whole sign itself. There are quite a bit of wires that you can see in the sign and the pieces aren't quite snug, but overall they did a good job hiding each of the lights. The one thing that is a bit hard is all of this mess of wires because each and every single light has its own connection to go to the board. And you can see that there's three different boards in here that wires are going to. Now this system with the boards and the wires, I really like it because it makes it very modular that you can move things around, you can connect it how you want. Eventually what I plan on doing is filling out this and just have all of these wires enclosed in a little tube. So then that way it looks much cleaner. So you can see the wireless connector here, and then on the next floor, you can see the opposite end is right here. And so then these two connect, and that's what powers this LED to get the inside. And the same thing is happening right here. You have that side. And then the wireless connector goes there. And so putting it on, it just goes snug like that. So kind of the difference between having the light kit itself and what I've done is that the light kit itself is designed to not require any additional pieces. And so for example, I have a couple, couple empty spots because I installed this rather than it being part of the light kit. And so if I need to finish this off, I would get some tan bricks and clean that up. Kind of the same thing happened with these outside lights is these are not the originals, I replaced those. There is another thing that I added, which I thought was strange that they didn't, is that there is a light right here. That is not normally there, but I decided to add it because it just makes the entrance so much better than having it be a dark situation. One thing I did change from the original design is right here. Here, these outside lights normally went through this piece, but to me, it just made more sense to have it go around. And so I did that actually with all four. And so you can see that there's a little gap right here, but I thought that was better than having it be super snug. There is one thing that I could do in the future, and that's light up these lights. It depends on how ambitious I am, but as a whole, I thought this set was pretty awesome. So let's put the floors back on. And here it is. Well, that's everything for today. Next episode will be on a Brixmax lighting kit. Until next time, this is No Name City.
Have a good one.